Greetings masters, so here we are testing the firmware, the EAPAX firmware on uh, Photon, uh, the one that allows anti-aliasing and uh, let's power it up. Um, so what we found out is that uh, the anti-aliasing is done by sectioning uh, one image uh, into multiple Basically, it's kind of what is happening on the on the resin exposure finder. Uh, so it's mul multiple exposures to obtain um, a simulation of anti-aliasing. Uh, so let's start by seeing the the file. So this this was a, a handmade file, and it has eight levels. So you'll clearly see uh, it going from uh, full plate to section of plate basically it divides in this case 40 seconds for the first exposure into uh, equal times equal amounts of times uh, on the eight exposures so let's start this I'll have to simulate the end stop here and there we go As you can see, it's cycling. We don't have a motor here, but this would be stopped there. And this probably also means that we can make a new version, a uh, special version uh, of the resin exposure finder. Uh, gonna have to talk to Cheeto Box to see if they, they allow us to have at least 10 layers. That way we could just uh, simulate uh, could use the exposure finder directly without having to uh, do the so here would be the pill move and now it's the normal uh, exposure as you can see it's faster so this is what the the the, the firmware is doing um, so yeah it's it's proven that with the uh, apex you can use it but there's a uh, there's a bug I don't know if this bug is on uh, just using on the photon or is it on the apex if, if we stop now and if we go to uh, okay tools and and stop because the axle would be moving now uh, if we try UV detection it will show the correct uh, drawing here but it will still hold in memory the old one so anyone with an apex could if if they could uh, confirm if this happens, it's a, if it's a, a firmware bug or if it's just being the bug of trying to use it with a photon uh, board. So yeah, that's it for all. For that, that's it for now. Uh, see you next time. Good hacks.